Hey guys, today I'm do oh it's Kayla from K Sharp Beauty. Today I'm showing you my nail polish in this Victoria's Secret bag. This is where I store my nail polish and um I have just enough to like cover the bottom so pretty soon I'm gonna need to find a new spot because storing your nail polishes to the side isn't that great and that's what some of them are doing on the top. So I'm just gonna show them to you and like talk about them for like quick quick second. I promise you this won't be too long. But the first one is the one of my spring favorites. It's the Revlon Top Speed. Ah, it's a pee. Oh my god. It went away. Nope, nope. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, Top Speed 405 PG. It's the one on my nails. Um, it's okay. Not, it's whatever. I like the color though. The next one. Oh, these Milani glitter ones. Amazing. You should go buy them. This 523 blue flash and 525 gold glitz on my toes. Honestly, you only need one coat. It says that one coat glitter. That's all you need is one coat, and it's amazing. Recommend those. But to go along with Milani, that um, the regular one not so great. The neon one in 506 red purple. This is not the color that came out on my nails, and it did not stay on. And I needed a lot of coats, so. Glitter's good. This one not so good. But I do have another Milani one in this hot pink 10 Pyramid Passion. And I got this from a swap meet. <laughs> and uh, um, I promise you that was just one time I went to the swap meet and I don't usually shop there. <laughs> but I've never used it, but my friends have and it looks okay on them. So whatever. I think it's just this neon one. And then next, oh, this nail polish sucks. Do not buy it. Why am I like yelling? Okay, Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, 380 Blizzard Blue. This it's like watery and like doesn't go on. This one sucks. Don't buy the Extreme Wear. But this the really good Sally Hansen one is the Diamond Strength, and this one is 89 Honeymoon Red. This one's awesome. Nice color. Okay. I have a few Claire's ones. This one is actually really pretty. My sister gave it to me for my birthday. And it's called Red Carpet. And then this one, I don't even know why I have it. Don't use it. Meg Peg. I think it's okay. Um, this is a Wet n Wild Flirt. Haven't used it yet. My sister gave it to me. Lame. I just have this Sally Hansen Double Duty Strengthening Base and Top Coat that I use for a base and top coat and it works pretty well. Sorry, I'm just trying not to make this long. And I have this Art Deco nail art. I've used it once. Got that from the swap meet. Then I have two OPIs. I have this one in Extra Vivanza. And it's like sparkly, and I like this one. And then this next one is like bright orange. And it's in my back pocket. I haven't used this one. Charlotte's going to borrow it. It's like bright orange. Halloween color, that's what I think of it. I have the Sinful Colors Professional shade 926. It's green. I wore this for St. Patrick's Day. And it. this is a really good brand of nail polish, Sinful Colors. You guys should go buy some of these. It's a nice brand. I have a little Claire's Neon one. And Fuchsia Neon. It's whatever. Not really sure what brand this is. Not really sure why I even have it. <laughs> um, this is a really pretty color. Royalty nail color. I got this from Windsor. It's called Mermaid and, Sim and Simmer. Really pretty color, just not the greatest nail polish. Got this one from a swap meet. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I never used it before. Not planning on using it. I might as well just throw it away. And then... I have three more nail polishes, guys. Don't don't be sad. Wait, what did I just say? This nail polish sucks. Don't know why I have it. It just says nail polish. It's not even a brand. Ew, look at how watery it is at the top. Just throw that away. And then the last two are high ends, I guess. I have the Nicole by OPI, the purple glitter one, and it's one less lonely glitter. I really like this color, but honestly, it took me like three coats to get this to look good. While the Milani glitters take one coat, so... And this is cheaper than this one. Milani for the win. And then the last one I have is the Chanel Desert Rose, and I like this color. I just don't recommend buying Chanel nail polish because it's way too expensive. 
So yeah, talk to you guys later. Sorry this was kind of long.